All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back in the United States, so this is a different setup. This is actually my new room. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about five things you can do if you're feeling sad. I myself have been feeling very sad this past week actually. It feels very strange for me to feel sad now. I feel like I feel like I'm a very happy person. Having like a culture shock, I guess I, I really got settled in Italy. So this is a uncomfortable transition uh, coming back. I Well, I miss my boyfriend and I have to, and I'm not on vacation anymore. I feel like that's basically why I'm feeling sad. My feelings are still valid and I still need to get through this. I need to work through these feelings. Like these are five things that I've been doing this week to kind of help me out. And I think that they are, I think that they're helping of course. Of course, I think time is what's really gonna fix everything, but this is gonna help me manage it until time, enough time passes for me to get over it. So these five tips are just tips and suggestions um, to help you just work work through the feelings. Um, I don't think anything's gonna make you happy unless you actually address what it is that's making you sad. Our feelings are feelings. And as much as I wanna say something like choose happiness, we do realize that happiness is a feeling and it's, a res it's, it's almost spontaneous how you feel. I still wanna say choose happiness because I think that you can choose a lifestyle or a routine or an environment or like set yourself up to be happy. You can't make yourself happy, but I think you can definitely support a journey towards happiness. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think that's what I mean when I say I'm a happy person with sad feelings right now. I feel like I still choose happiness and I choose to live happily. Um, my feelings are still there, but such is life, you know, it, it, it wouldn't be fair to be only happy and then not have the rest of your emotions. Okay, so tip number one is don't mope around or do something other than lie around and act sad. This is the first tip and it's actually I think super important because I think all of the other tips after it are just specific examples of how to do something other than mope around. Above all, still honor your feelings. It's not, we're not ignoring our feelings, we're not numbing ourselves from feeling sad or anything, but if you're feeling sad, acting sad will only make you feel more sad. Definitely do something other than complain or act the way a sad you feel like you should act because you're sad. Do something about it, get out and do something. So tip number two is get outside. Treat yourself to some sunlight. One of the symptoms of, it's called seasonal depression or seasonal affective disorder. I don't know if it's a symptom or a cause. It's the lack of sunlight. So it's, it's, it's seasonal because like typically during winter months when there's less sunlight available, people kind of get more, more depressed or like certain people tend to just like have like a, a downer, um, a down mood. Uh, due to the lack of sunlight. So obviously sunlight has something, you know, lack of sunlight has something to do with being sad. So get out there, get some sunlight, vitamin D, just, you know, get a little short tan if you can. You don't have to, don't have to go out in public, you don't have to, you know, just your backyard is fine, just get, get soak in some sun. Number three is to exercise. I obviously I'm gonna say this, exercise does release endorphins or feel good hormones. And it's one of the things that can contribute to a mood boost and the lack of these feel good hormones are might be what's contributing to to a, a down mood, a, you know, a down mood. And another thing, I think this is more like a psychology or just like a mental a mental thought for it. When I get sad, I feel very lethargic, and also when I don't exercise, I feel lethargic. And when I'm lethargic, I feel sad because lethargy is not a good feeling. So the point I'm making is that just it motivates more lethargy. I think that by exercising and fighting lethargy, you're actually fighting a symptom and a cause of the sadness. So there's, if you want any more reasons to exercise, there's another one and it's good for you. It's good for you, it's good for your body and it's good for your feelings too. Number four is to see a friend. See a friend that cares about you and spend time with them. Even though when we're sad, I think sometimes we just want to be by ourselves and you don't have to go go to a huge party or anything, but find a friend who cares about you. Hopefully they'll reach out to you and spend some time with them. I'm very lucky to have one of my best friends who contacted me the day I landed and said, hey, I know you're not feeling good, but we need to hang out. And I'm I'm really thankful for this friend. And you know, I, I cried with her, but by reaching out, she showed she cared. And when, you, when I feel like I'm cared for, it's hard to feel, I mean, I still felt sad, but it, it's hard to maintain a feeling of sadness when you know that someone cares about you. Plus, if you need to, they'll be there for you to talk out your feelings to, and maybe that'll get something off your chest. Maybe that'll 
move you towards the process of actually feeling better and actually addressing what's making you feel sad. Number five is get in the flow or get in flow. Or I believe flow is defined as a state when you're when you're doing an activity for which your level of ability is equally matched to the task at hand. It feels good because you're like, I'm perfect for this thing that I'm doing. It's not too challenging for you and it's not too easy for you. You're not too good for it and you're not like so bad at it that you're overwhelmed. And doing this, it kind of, it passes the time really quickly. You get into a state of flow, time passes, it, feel, it feels good. It's like, it's a good, place to be. Examples of this activity would be maybe a puzzle according to your difficulty level, um, coloring, like I know they have those adult coloring books and I don't know if that's why they're so therapeutic but that's why I like to color because it's perfect, it's perfect to my abilities at that time. Easy to do but it's not too easy that I'm bored. As a bonus for your flow activity, you could do something that is productive. For example, you could do the chores like clean your room or wash the dishes, fold the laundry, sweep the floor, blah, 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 blah. You, and afterwards you have something to look at and see, oh, I accomplished something today and that makes you feel good. So these are my these are my tips for feeling a little bit better when you're already feeling sad. These are kind of treating the, the symptoms of sadness or just like kind of treating the feelings of feeling sad. Obviously like you need to honor your feelings and see what's actually bothering you, but this is just so that so the feelings don't overtake you. So I'm back. I'm back in the United States and I'm continuing with this channel. Obviously, that's what this video is for. I'm I'm working through a lot of stuff here and I'm I'm so excited, I'm so overwhelmed and I'm so stressed, but I'm feeling less sad, thank you. So I really wanted to pass that on. And yeah, that's all I have. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I always wish you a happy and healthy day.